The Spring Festival travel season in China is often referred to as the world's largest annual human migration. Hundreds of millions of migrant workers head home to celebrate the festive period with loved ones, often the only chance they'll get to see their family for the whole year. This year, over 210 million people are expected to use China's railways. That means hugely overcrowded trains lining up, sometimes for days, to buy scarce tickets and unscrupulous scalpers. This year, the country's Ministry of Railways has announced a pilot project known as the Real Name Ticket System. It aims to deal with the scourge of those who buy up tickets, then sell them on at inflated prices. At 37 stations in the southern provinces of Guangdong, Hunan and Sichuan, each passenger will be allowed to buy just three tickets after providing one piece of ID per ticket. Many travellers like the idea. It's good for us no matter whether we are workers or businessmen because every year we have to buy overpriced tickets from scalpers. But there are those who worry that ID checks at sales points and before boarding trains will simply result in more delays. As I see it, we should test this out first. I think it's too early to decide whether it works. In China, train tickets are normally only sold a maximum of 10 days in advance and only in one direction. But scalpers have various means of acquiring tickets. They then sell these on at a profit to desperate travellers afraid of not making it home at this very special time of year. However, others say that with today's modern technology, all these problems could be solved relatively easily. I think it should be as easy as buying plane tickets using the internet or by telephone. In that way, this real name system could probably crack down on ticket scalpers during the New Year's travel season. If the trial proves successful, it may be implemented more widely next year, and that would be good news for frustrated travellers, worried families at home and stressed out railway workers. Just about everyone, in fact, except the scalpers. Fergus Thompson, BON.